snow of any kind is a sight for sore eyes here in the Carolinas, but when it falls, here's how you determine the difference between wet snow, dry snow, and normal snow. Not all snow is created equal. Can you build a snowman with it? It'll come down to these factors. Amount of liquid content, temperatures at snowfall, wet snow is denser. You can build a snowman and snowballs. Dry snow is lighter, it's good for sledding, and it blows much easier in windy conditions. With wet snow, temperatures aloft are near or just above freezing as snow falls to the surface. And dry snow stays below freezing, it's much colder aloft as it falls to the ground. Wet snow is the heaviest. It has a low snow to liquid ratio, as low as 5 to 1, meaning for every 5 inches of snow, there's 1 inch liquid equivalent. Normal snow could have a 10 to 1 ratio, which would have your average between the wettest and the driest snow. It's most common in the middle of winter with temperatures in the 20s. Dry snow is fluffier. It has a higher snow to liquid ratio, such as 15 to 1 or 25 to 1. A good example of dry snow is lake effect snow. The coldness of the air blowing over the lake can make a big difference. Dry snow is much better for driving than slushy wet snow. Since wet snow compresses into ice with little pressure and water can easily form on top. In other words, dry snow offers better traction. Heavy wet snow is the hardest to shovel and can lead to heart attacks, cause power outages, roof damage, and dangerous driving conditions. So when the white stuff starts falling, it pays to know your snow. With this Weather IQ, I'm meteorologist KJ Jacobs, WCNC Charlotte.